All right, welcome back to Cruise Control, and welcome back to Bayonetta 2. We have fucked up a couple times now recording this. <laughs> this will be our third attempt Who? to finally get our audio right. <laughs> uh, basically, we were we've been tr attempting to record with headphones in order to give you, our loyal seven viewers, uh, the best possible audio quality. However, the... I had the brilliant idea to attach our headphones to the Wii U gamepad. But apparently if you do that, the audio no longer goes from the system to the TV, which means the capture card didn't get any of the game audio, which meant it was just all commentary all the time. Yeah. And, unfortunately, I'm, I can't be on 100% of the time. I mean, Wade tries his best, but we can't fill the audio completely with entertaining jokes. Um, the angelic sound of my voice it just doesn't make up for the lack of like any interesting game audio. Unfortunately, not. So, um, third time. Hopefully, will be the charm. We're doing this sans headphones. Just chop down the volume on our TV, and uh, hopefully, we don't have to deal with too much echo and crap. And um, yeah, third time's the charm, y'all. So here we got this dumb kid, and I've mentioned this twice already, but it keeps getting deleted, but I came to the realization that this kid's also, besides being the obligatory kid mascot, he's the obligatory animal mascot. You know, I've thought about that now, and I'm pretty sure Bayonetta's butt is the official mascot of this game, so... Me? You think there's like a costume of that? Yep. You think people like just go to cosplay yep. cons as Bayonetta's ass? Yep. Get me to the mountain. Little you get two people. One can each be a leg. And then you join together at the top and to form the butt. And I'll form the butt! <laughs> uh, Voltron. Clearly, I need to go to more conventions. Obviously. And by more, I mean like any, because I don't think I've ever been to a single one. Uh, we got one coming to Regina in a couple months. Um, apparently, it was really good last year. And I missed it, but because uh, I was in Vegas. But this year I'm gonna go. Who knows? Maybe I'll stop being lazy and make my Cyclops costume. Like I said I was going to. Uh, um, because that's I really like to be into cosplay, but I'm lazy. I know it takes so much effort. Yeah. And as you can clearly see with this video series, we're not good <laughs> at things that require effort. I'm really inept with manual dexterity things. Like, By the way, we've seen this twice already now, so just, just let me assure you that we thought this was really <laughs> awesome the first time. Yeah. And it, like, it's still pretty awesome, just, you know, we're not surprised anymore. It's giving me a chance to redeem myself to make my joke when it comes up. But, anyways, um... I think you've got a joke in reserve. I do have a joke in reserve. Is it a good joke? Uh, not really, no. This is just a reference. In case, like, people haven't picked up on it, yeah, pretty much everything I say... Oh, there's a motorboat. You motorboating son of a bitch. Um, anyways, that's... No, it's wildly funny the first time. I was terrible this time. <laughs> anyways, everything I say is usually just a direct quote from a movie or someone else. Basically, anyone more talented than I. So, so like, basically you're saying you don't have a single creative thought in correct. your mind. Okay. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I never have. I'll never will. Fair um, enough. Yeah. That's all right. I mean, I, at least you're willing to admit it. Oh, yeah, totally. Basically, I view myself on kind of like, maybe like Morph, the X-Men cartoon show. I'm really good at mimicking everything. Um, but I'm not actually as good as the original. So, like, if I turned into Wolverine, I wouldn't, like, claws would break. If I slice something. That kind of thing. Heart. Does that also mean you die in the first episode? Uh, well, he didn't die. He got captured. But... Spoilers! For a, a 90s TV show. <laughs> Spoilers on a 20 year old show, which is still kind of good. I love that show, actually. I think, I think I heard something about like Marvel might be doing a comic like based on that. Yeah, they did. But, but like a, a new one. Oh. Like a 90s X Men comic. Oh, like maybe like that follows up from the end of that season? I don't know. Because there was like. The, Okay, I loved everything with the show except I hated Wolverine. I'm not actually a huge Wolverine fan. Like, I get why people like him, but I just, I don't like the overexposure kind of stuff. Anyways, I'm a hipster. Whatever. Fuck you. Um... See, I, I like Wolverine when they're focusing less on, like, 
oh, he's such a badass. Yeah. And more on, like, he's seen some shit and he really wants to make a better future for other mutants. So I they like, don't have to go through that shit. I like where he's kind of halfway between those two. Like, because there's, like, some of the stuff. I want to say maybe Stupid Invasion, maybe something else. I, I can't remember exactly what, but where he almost seemed, like, kind of whiny. Oh, no, it was... It wasn't Stupid Invasion. It was, uh... Origins, where he's talking about when he like finds Dakin for the first time, and yeah, it was, I mean, he was uh, he was just a blubbering mess. It's not cool. It's not interesting. But um, you know what's a lot like comic books? What's that this game? Um, Except it's even crazier. Yeah, this is like some Grant Morrison, Alan Moore shit. <laughs> I guess I could see it. Hey, we're at the Gates of Paradise. That's what the chapter was called. Yeah! There's like three of these things. You better diesel. Um. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Anyways. Um. X Men cartoon. Really great. First four seasons. Last season, not so much. Yeah, they changed um, the art style. And the writing got kind of weird. Like, yeah. Uh, the last episode was just so lame. Basically, it's like, oh, Professor X is sick and nothing on Earth can help him, so. He has to go to space. Well, I have see to go you now. Later. My planet needs me. Exactly. And then Magneto takes over, and it's kind of like you can tell they really wanted to make out, but they couldn't do it because it was the '90s kids show. So, but uh, yeah, Melandra, I think that's her name. Yep. Totally Professor X's beard. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um. Also, so this is pretty crazy right now. Yeah, this is. Uh, like just I, saying, we thought this was really awesome the first two times. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're kind of ignoring the fact that like this guy's face is busted like, open. Like we're, we're flying and like, to the gates the to like fucking heaven with these horrible mecha dragon things yep. trying to eat us, and we got wings and everything's all epic and shit. And this is actually pretty awesome. Yeah, and when you break their face, the little eyes appear. I, I hope that's not how anatomy actually works. Anatomy. Pardon me. I just keep it. Kind of. Uh, this. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Oh, okay, so it has four swipes. One. Oh, oh you... it's a... I dodged it, but... Oh. I don't know. That happened last time, too. Maybe it switches it up sometimes. Playing tricks on me. Trying to make a monkey out of you. I feel like it's really hard to get like more than a couple of hits in. Yeah, that's probably the way it's meant to be. Sometimes lots of fights do that, where it's kind of like hit and run, and then eventually they give you a big move to do a whole bunch of damage. I have to say that I'm really enjoying this game so far. That's good. I, uh, I wish I could be playing it, actually. <laughs> it looks really fun. You made your choice. Yeah, I did. That's alright. Oh. And Wonder Boy is usually fun to play. Until, uh, certain, uh. until certain things happen. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, you, uh. can look for, you can look forward to some, some, some misery coming up on the channel in that series. Yeah, oh, goodness gracious. Uh, well, hopefully by that point, there's a lot of stuff we can kind of just skip. Uh, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of disappointment. Um, a little movie magic to get to the good stuff. Yeah, exactly. But we don't have to talk about that here. We can talk about that next time we're playing a little bit more. Uh-oh. See, over in this series, we don't repeat things because we die. We repeat things because I fuck up. <laughs> Although this is still, like, since you have all the things you've received so far, I guess, like, your money that you've been getting would be nice so you can buy more things now. Yeah, yeah, I'll be able to afford more stuff from the store. I figure I'll save up for some of the accessories and costumes and stuff. By the way, if there's any costumes you'd like me to uh, save up for specifically, let me know in the comments. Yeah. If you want to see uh, you know. who uh, dressed up as like Princess Peach or some shit? I think all the costumes are what, 200 grand? Uh, 
Some are 100,000, I think some are 300. They're not all in the store right now either. I think they unlock as you play. Right, right. Climax time! Wow. Oh, time. I don't get tired of this part. I'm I know why tired. you don't. Yeah, I know. I mean, I do get tired after this part. <laughs> oh. oh, there it is. Um, Every time. <laughs> you guys don't realize this, but we just edited it out. I had to take about a 10 minute bathroom break for that. Um, it takes a little bit longer each time we played through it, so. Anyways. What'd you get? Silver! He did better than the last time, and the same as the first time. Yeah, actually, I, I did pretty terrible the second attempt. <laughs> So they call her the Overseer of Darkness. I don't know if that's a thing for the first game, but oh, I think it's because she had like the the like the the eye, the eye of darkness. Right. right. There's right. the dark one and the light one. She right. was the keeper of the dark one. Right. She didn't even know it. She was she had like amnesia yeah. for most of the game. She was just like granted it. Didn't, was carrying around and had no idea what the hell it was. So what? what going down. Going down. So with what we've received from the story so far, so basically she's kind of like, there would be like a god of hell in hell kind of thing. I guess so. But she would kind of be more like a god of hell on earth. That, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. And... Oh, by the way, we that, that squirrel kid is still around. We, I still hate him. Yes. Um... Probably and I'm pretty sure, when we get to the part... Um, I'm pretty sure we know who Loki's supposed to be at this point. Um, we're getting some ideas anyway. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what he's supposed to be. But, we'll see. Oh, there we go. He cracked 100k. Oh, yeah, I think that might have been my best run. Yeah. It should be, after three times. <laughs> you figure. Or... Yeah, I did better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I can, I'm okay at this game. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, then we... Yeah, see, we've played through several chapters and lost all of it, so... Hooray for that. On to chapter four. Oh, yeah. What am I doing from... Ooh, I do have 100,000. That's literally what I just said. All right, you know what? Let's see what I can get. <laughs> Maybe I can get something stupid. I hope so. I would hate to ruin the sanctity of this uh, serious, serious game Super by wearing a stupid costume, but you know, it's, it's for you, the fans. <laughs> uh, okay, they were in treasures, I believe. I think so. Or, uh, no, these are the uh, different versions of the. Oh, well, oh no, wait, yeah, it's Super Mirror. I'm going to change into an elegant and charming oriental kimono. Okay. Uh, that's the Star uh, Fox one. This is one we thought was Star Fox. And that's it so far. Oh, let's idea. buy that. Let's let's see how dumb it is. Alright, I'm looking forward to it. Oh! Oh, wait. Go back in for a sec. Then you unlocked more. Why oh. find it? Uh. Sarasala. Yeah, this will be Peach, this will be Daisy, this will be Link, and this will be Samus. Oh, oh what's Sarasala? That's a, that's the name of the world from, like, Super Mario Land on the Game Boy. Oh, um, right. And that, that's the game that Daisy's from. Right. Yeah, yeah I know she's from that. I just I didn't realize that was the name of the world. Huh. Alright, time to dress up as Star Fox. Yay! Let's cosplay as a furry. I mean, like, after this is over, can we go do that? Uh, you can. Alright. 